This video is sponsored by Wizards of the Coast, but more about that later. Commander Masters is upon us, and with that comes a lot of sweet new reprints and new art styles to upgrade and bling out some of your favorite commander decks. What really has me excited, though, is the continuation of something I've grown quite fond of, and that is Commander Limited. If you've never played Commander Limited, this video should be a pretty good introduction to teach you the basics. And if you have played Commander Limited before, this video should also give you a little bit of what to expect specifically from Commander Masters and what sets it apart from some of the previous Commander draft sets of the past. So let's go ahead and get into it. To start with the basics, what is Limited? Limited is when you open magic booster packs and build decks with the cards you pulled. The two main options for Limited are Sealed and Draft. Sealed is much more simple than Draft. Just take six packs, open them up, and make the best deck you can with what you open. In Draft, it's a little more complicated. Each player starts with three boosters, then opens one at a time. Choose a card from the pack, then pass it to the next player. Repeat the process until all the cards have been chosen. Then open the next booster and repeat the process this time passing the pack the other way around. Do this again for the last booster. With the cards you now have, you'll build a deck. And don't worry about basic lands, they'll be provided. All this is true whether or not you're playing Commander Limited, so let's get into the specifics for Commander Draft. Let's start off with what's different. First of all, when you receive a pack in Commander Draft, you'll pick two cards instead of just one. This helps increase your chances of getting cards that work well with your commander, as well as helps the drafting process go by a little bit faster. It may also be good to know what's different about these packs. Instead of 15 card packs, Commander Draft boosters have 20 cards. Specifically in Commander Masters, you'll find 11 commons, three non-legendary uncommons, two legendary uncommons, one rare or mythic legend, one rare or mythic non-legend, one non-legend, it could be anywhere from a rare to another uncommon, and a traditional foil wild card. Also in normal limited, your deck has to be at least 40 cards. In commander limited, it has to be 60. Since mana bases and ramp tend to be less optimized and limited, it's recommended that you run 25 to 27 lands for that 60 card deck. And we all know that commander is a singleton format, meaning you can only have one copy of any card beside basic lands, of course. And in non-singleton formats, you are limited to four copies of a card. However, in limited, there is no limit to how many copies of a card you can play. It should be noted, though, that since Commander Masters have so many different cards in it, you're unlikely to end up with many, if any, duplicates. Now that you understand the basics of Commander Limited, let's talk more about specifics in Commander Masters. Something that might be hard to remember is a soft errata for the format. For the purposes of the limited environment, all monocolored legendaries are to be treated as though they have partner. Partner being the keyword that says you can have two commanders. This is to help you end up in the color pair you like and try other synergies. However, this is not to be confused for outside of Commander Masters Limited. These cards still don't actually have partner. Like in other draft environments, each two color pair in Commander Masters has an archetype that you can try building around, so let's go over those real quick. The blue-white archetype is all about having a lot of artifacts. The blue-black archetype is a graveyard deck with some reanimator and flashbacks themes. Black-red returns to its classic sacrifice theme. Green-red is a creature deck that cares specifically about creatures with high power. Green-white is also a creature deck, but it will grow its creatures with counters over time. White's Black is also a sacrifice deck, but it's focused on tokens. Black Green is also a token archetype, but it's slower pace and has a sapling tribal sub theme. Green Blue is once again focused on the tried and true ramp strategy. Continued with tried and true strategies, Blue Red is for Spell Slinger, and finally Red White is for the equipments. So what are some other tips that I think might be helpful? In draft specifically, it's probably smart to pick a couple legends early on, then kind of settle before you get to the next pack. This helps make sure that you're actually grabbing cards that are going to be working with your commander and not just grabbing the best card you see left in the pack. You're also gonna wanna make sure that your deck has all the necessities needed to play the game effectively. Card draw, ramp, and removal are the big three. The last tip I'll leave for you is to try to stick to just playing playing around two colors. While there are plenty of cool legendaries that you could build around that are more colors, it gets a lot more risky since your mana base is mostly gonna be composed of basic lands. However, there is a decent amount of mana fixing and color fixing in the set between mana rocks and terramorphic expanses in the set. Some of the duels are in the set. So if you get a little bit of that, feel free to go ahead and try building uh, something with more colors. Knock yourself out. Thank you again to Wizards of the Coast for sponsoring this video. 
video, make sure to check the links in the description to go ahead and get your pre-orders in for Commander Masters. If you'd like to support us and other awesome magic content creators, check out the hashtag MTG Ambassador. It's because of this awesome program that we are able to make videos like this, as well as a handful of other Commander Masters videos that either just have or are about to come out. So make sure you subscribe to see that when it comes out. Most notably, we have a Commander Masters pre-con gameplay video coming out soon. I'm looking forward to drafting and playing limited with my friends, and I hope you guys enjoy the set too. Commander is one of the best ways to play Magic, so it's fun to get to draft it and expand what Commander really is and what, can, what it can be. I'll see you guys next time.